day welcome to your most preferred youtube channel nation's voice tower my name is angelo your usual anchor now i'm back with what have been trending like stories that have been trending within the last 24 hours including videos and viral videos yes first on my update list i have um, something that will shock you did you know that former minister of transportation right honorable rutimi amechi is in deep deep trouble this trouble is so deep that I don't think it can go out of this. Let me expose him a little bit. The ministerial list has been announced and um, lots of people have been missing in this list. Not surprisingly, we've seen Wiki and Nasil El Rufai as part of the list. I told you guys sometime last month that Wiki would make the list because of the role he played. Now, did you know that Rotimi Amechi actually played an anti-party role during the presidential elections? Rotimi Amechi asked the APC chapter in River State to vote for People's Democratic Party's presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar instead of his principal, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Can you imagine? So, do you now know why he is in trouble? Let me not be as if we are saying things from the word of mouth alone without evidences. Let me give you a brief video clip where you will hear from one of the ex schools or executive members of the APC in River State exposing Rotimi Amechi and what he told them to do before the presidential elections. Stay tuned. A4 size flex to show that, yes, this is the party that we belong to. Now, not to talk much about what my chief has just said, immediately before the, the election, there was a directive, and from who? From our former leader, the right honorable Chubike Rutmiamechi, which even most of the candidates and leaders know. I can also bring them live, they can also testify that this is the statement of from our leader that APC should vote Atiku Abubakar. After the election, as a party, we decided to assess what, how the outcome of the party, our performance during the election. And we found out that most of our leaders did anti-party. So at that point, we sat as ESCOs and we suspended the former chairman, Emika Beke, and the legal advisor. It was lingering. We went to court, if you can see, the uh, state high court, and order was given. Now, in that order, we are there. This party, that is the party, the national, not the state chapter, went to an appeal. You, you can see the order there too from the appeal. Yeah. Now went to appeal, and in the appeal, they withdrew, and that matter was dismissed. And that shows that that order ceased or ceased. As a party, they've gone, they withdrew, and that matter, that particular matter, was dismissed at the appeal court. And I've never seen any counter, you know, judgment or order coming from any court. Now, these same persons, these same persons that we are suspended, they are. There is another paper there, knows the back. Went also on appeal, and that matter is still in the appeal. Nobody has called for it. So I'm just surprised because maybe because of the relationship, you know, at the National Secretariat, maybe because of uh, 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 the, the, the former uh, 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 minister relationship, they, in a meeting, National Working Committee meeting. Right, have you now seen that it's evident that Rotimi Amechi played a very, very, very bad role for the APC, despite being a member of that same party. That means, finally, it is not only Wiki that can be termed as an anti-partisan, but Rotimi Amechi too actually was against Bola Ahmed Tinubu. No wonder he is not part of the ministerial list. So sad. Well, that is that. Secondly, on my updates, still on the trending case of the erstwhile governor of the central bank, Godin Mefele. Now, the court has finally barred the directorate of the Security, DSS, 
from taking custody of Godwin MFLA, former central bank governor. The DSS have been planning a sort of hanky-panky game on the case concerning Godwin MFLA and how and who to take his custody. That erupted to a fight after the court proceedings sometimes two days ago. Now, after that, his own counsel, that is Godwin MFLA's counsel, went forth to the court and they have been given a standing order for the DSS not to lay hands on him anymore, especially after he has matched his 20 million naira bail. Without much ado, I think it's better off you listen to the lawyer, one of the lawyers representing Godwin MFLA in court. He had to reiterate and tell us the real picture of the story and why they fought. Now, stay tuned. Well, um, first, I will thank the media for continuing coverage of what has appeared now to be a grave attack on the institution of judiciary in Nigeria. This morning, we witnessed again in open court an attempt by the Department of State Security to hoodwink the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory and obtain a further remand order to keep Mr. Godwin MFLA in their custody for 14 days. They filed a motion ex parte yesterday, and diligent Nigerians who are interested in protecting and preserving the institution of the judiciary called to let us know that there is an attempt to hoodwink the court to grant further remand order to keep Mr. Godwin in MFL. Um, luckily for us, we are here in court this morning, and we narrated the history of the attempts by the DSS to subvert the course of justice. We reminded the court that on the 13th of June, the DSS approached the Chief Magistrate Court in Wuse, obtained a 14-day remand order to keep Mr. Godwin and MFLA in their custody. They went back again on the 26th of June under Section 293 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. And the magistrates again complied and granted them 14-day further extension to keep Mr. Godwin and MFLA in their custody, to allow them, according to their application, to finish investigation and charge Mr. Godwin and MFLA to court, where offenses are disclosed. Now, portion to that, we approached the High Court of the FCT, and in two judgments or rulings of this court, the court ordered, the first judgment was by uh, Honorable Justice Mwazu. The court ordered the DSS to charge Mr. Godwin MFLA to court within seven days or release him on administrative bail. The next day, Honorable Justice Kawu of the same High Court of FCT ordered the DSS to charge Mr. Godwin MFLA to court within 48 hours or release him on bail. In compliance, or so we thought, in compliance with the orders, orders made by the courts, the DSS, through the Ministry of Justice, preferred the charge before the Federal High Court in Lagos. They charged Mr. Godwin MFLA for possession, of illegal possession of firearms. We were in court two days ago, and upon arraignment, the court took an application for bail to be filed and served. Okay, you've seen it that um, they had to go further and bar the DSS from having custody of the CBN governor because he's now, it's now evident and obvious that he's a political prisoner, not just an offender, all right? So the DSS should please know where their jurisdiction lies and know what to do about whatever they have been asked to do instead of delving into people's affairs and coming up to, you know, play like a sort of pawn in the hands of uh, people in the high places. They use you the way they want to command you, the way they want to, to perpetrate acts that are unlawful and unconstitutional. So the DSS should please take note of that. Finally, on my updates, before I go further, let our viewers be mindful that please, I would urge you to like this video, share them, watch till the end, and also tap the notification bell so that you will be among the first people to get a notification anytime to drop new videos. Now, still on the Godwin MFLS case, the Nigerian Bar Association president has finally been asked to resign as a result of non-compliance or let's say his 
a sort of non-activity or non-activeness or inactiveness in this Godwin and Mephiles case somehow. I will explain it. Now, the NBA president played a very, very bad role after the confrontation of the DSS on lawyers in court during the first day that Godwin and Mephiles was charged to court. Before I say this, let me allow you to watch the video where one of the counsels to Godwin and Mephile, including the famous controversial um, barrister that is representing Godwin and Mephile, that is um, Kingdom O'Kerry, spoke on why the DSS harassed them in court, them lawyers, and why they think the NBA president should resign with quick effect. Watch. In support of uh, my uh, friends that call for the resignation of uh, NBA president, I want to start by saying that what actually happened in Lagos was as a result of NBA president's failure to act. When the DSSS attacked we lawyers that are doing our, our professional, carry out our professional duty in line with the law, the NBA on, on, on their own kept quiet. I personally wrote a letter immediately to the NBA president complaining what happened. In my letter, I attached all the whole evidence to the NBA president. As I speak to you, no reply. Ordinary call. The NBA president has not called. And it was as a result of that that gave the DSSS audacity to attack uh, the judge and attack Nigeria and attack the judiciary on, on, the, on the, the first day, on the 25th. May I also inform you that why that issue was going on there in the court, J.B. Dawood S.A.N. called the NBA president to put him on notice what was going on. So he cannot say that he's not aware. But we are surprised uh, the bar leader, the number one person when it comes to Nigerian Bar Association, said that the thing was made to fight. Now, we are asking this question. Somebody came to carry out an order of court, and the other person attacked the, the person, tore his clothes. Even ordinary sympathy, the impact the NBA can give to that um, uh, correctional center staff, a senior staff, is that is a two fight. Uh, we are seeing it from the angle that NBA president lack the capacity to lead the bar. He should, as a matter of urgency, resign. And I'm calling the neck to call emergency meeting. Yeah, he failed to resign. And impeach you. And impeach you. Pass a vote of, vote of uh, no, uh, no confidence He's the most on him. Incompetent person. A person I have ever seen. Because why we are saying this thing is that if we continue like this, because the judges, the judges cannot speak. The registrars cannot speak. It's only NBA that speaks for them. And they are waiting the NBA to come out to condemn that out of uh, DSSS. NBA never did that. When uh, um, uh, uh, Paul Osoro was NBA president, that was when uh, judges were attacked by the same DSSS. He called all, he called, the midnight. He called off uh, the uh, uh, NBA that uh, NBA should by court, uh, court, though some people sabotaged that. At least he made a move to show that, yes, NBA, we are not in support of such unlawful action. But this one, that the international community have received more than 15 calls from outside this country about, everybody was asking, what is NBA doing? In fact, this morning, a banker in Ure was asking me, they saw, he saw what NBA wrote. Why can NBA president write in that kind of thing? It's, we, are, we said we take exception to that. He should quietly resign. That's our position. NBA, NBA president is not a, an avenue to look for political appointment. If that is what he's looking for, let him resign and go and look for political appointment. NBA president, what is he doing? I don't even know his Why is he Mekau? Why is he Mekau? Whatever you are called. You are the most incompetent person to continue as NBA president. I'm I'm okay the kingdom. You are the most incompetent person to continue as NBA president. You should immediately resign. If you don't resign, we are calling on the neck of NBA to impeach you. You are grossly incompetent to control as NBA. Tomorrow you will not call and say he has suspended him. That was how a lawyer went to the uh, uh, file, uh, 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 wrote, wrote to the Corporate Affairs Commission to address the issue of registering Nigerian Law Society. You, you suspended him. 
By the time the, 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 the association came, the, the lawyer went to court, he's still battling it. Now the Nigerian Law Society has gone to court against uh, CAC to be registered as an association and I filed the application. Why have you not suspended me for filing that application? Mecca, we are the most incompetent person to continue as MBA president resign. for supporting DSS after desecrating the, the, the Temple of Justice at, 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 the, at the Federal High Court. And you are saying that it was too, too fighting for what? George gave an order. Granting bail, made a further order that if this bail is not perfected before the end of today, this man should be remanded, MFL should be remanded at the custody of the Nigerian Correctional Service. What else? The man came to do his work and you attack him. The man of DSS barricaded everywhere that MFL will not go to correctional services. More than three hours, they have to call their boss. After three hours, their boss have to reschedule whatever he was doing to come to the federal no high court to personally take him to the correctional services as well. You know, it's now obvious because the NBA president is seeming to play a sort of game that is pointing at the fact that he's answering a paymaster somewhere. Now, because of his nonchalance or the nonchalance he displayed on the ill treatment of lawyers by the DSS in court, the members of the Nigerian Bar Association, especially those that are members of the Council of the MFLA case, have asked him to resign with immediate effect. In fact, they have passed a vote of no confidence of him on him because of the role he played, the minute role he played. He has not come out to say anything, even after he physically saw that the lawyers were abused in court by the officers of the DSS and so on. Why will he be silent? A president of an association as vast as the NBA, that means he is playing by the script of a paymaster somewhere. And thus, they have asked him to resign or he gets impeached. So sorry for the NBA president. That is that on that update. From our table, we would like to call it quits and draw the curtains here. See you next time. Bye.